my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commit Law Firm, Norm Zag, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, we're on Lake Winnebago and we've got a perfect morning and we're gonna be doing some perch fishing. And I'll tell you what, we've got the Duxbury boys with us. And you know what, they're pretty quiet this morning. I'm surprised. What's the deal with that, Kurt? I don't know, I think that they're just a little bit shell-shocked that they actually get to go fishing without their sister in the boat. Nope. And it's Sunday. And it's Sunday, Sunday so morning is church. church too? But we went yesterday, Holy 4.30. Cats. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, Kurt, you know, we fished last winter with you with the guillotines, and I'll tell you, you said that these work for open water fishing too, and I'm like, are you kidding me? So it's not just a product that's just one dimensional ice fishing. This is actually a product that you can use 12 months out of the year? Absolutely, the rod holder fits really nice into the bowl with about a 50 cent adaptation to it. Okay. And vertical jigging's vertical jigging, right? Doesn't have to be through an eight inch or 10 inch hole. It can be right off the side of the boat. Right. It works fantastic. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know what? I know I'm gonna get just slammed for saying this, but last winter, you were telling me that these things outfish people. And I was like, that's what intrigued me so much. I mean, I gotta take the challenge. And I came up with you guys and it outfished us. It outfished me. You know, so I mean, not saying it's gonna outfish everybody, but it outfished me. I was so impressed with this product. I'm so excited about this winter to use this guillotine and see the amount of people's their reaction on it. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. The late ice last year, I told my wife I gotta get up there one more time and caught a limit of crappies. Normally I don't fish for a limit, but last outing of the year had to. And I caught seven, they've caught 18, and it's in the shack <laughs> next to me. I'm running a flasher. Right. You know, you set the depth and it's, it's just steady. It, that, ne it never gives up. You know, and that's, that, that, that is so cool. And I'll tell you what, again, you know, when you have the opportunity to use that device and to see the unique things it does, that's what really intrigues me. So, hey, let's, uh, let's head her out and see what we can do perch fishing today. Stay tuned, let's see what happens. So we just put a bobber stop on there. Okay. And we'll mark that right on the bottom. Come up. And then that way when you're having a jig over the side of the boat, you can see You can see that you have it, you know, close to the bottom. Right, with that bobber stop on yet. there. That's crucial, right. Oh, there you go. Boy, that did not take long at all. Hey, hey. Noah. No, what you, what's that, Noah? There's a fish. There's a fish. A perch, that's what we're looking for, right? Nice job. Oh, there you go. Ooh, Got that looks that like thing. a nicer fish, Kurt. I love that, it's so cool. Hey, hey. This is a keeper. That's a keeper right there, that's about perfect. You know, that's one thing I love about Lake Winnebago is that the, the perch, 
they really got some shoulders to them. You know, that's probably about an eight and a half inch, and that's where I, I butterfly all my perch. So that's where I like, let's keep that one. That's where I like to start keeping them. But yeah, perfect. I love the way that sets the hook. Hey, Kurt, now what are you doing now? You're changing out my uh, guillotine, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna, just to show some of the versatility of it. And if you were to be fishing for a bigger species other than- Like bird, lake trout or? Right, you could put a put a longer rod on there. Okay. So all it is is it's a longer aluminum tube on this one. Okay. And then we'll end up, I mean, this isn't a big rod, but it's, you know, at least you got a five footer instead of a 38 incher. Right. And you could put a, more stout rod on if you wanted to. Hey, standing next to him, I got to be the 38 incher, right? Look at that. Trophy class. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pass it off. <laughs> That's been my problem all my life, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Open yeah. young and booner. Right. <laughs> hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. What do you say? I don't have much to say about that, you know that. Hey, so Kurt, tell us this. How can people get a guillotine? So we're gonna be putting our first ones together here. It's a long process when you come out with something new. Right. Um, so we have all the pieces, we're waiting on the plastic, and when we get that, we'll have them ready by November. Okay. Um, and you can find them and order them. And you'll wanna do your pre-orders because there's gonna be a limited supply the first time. Okay. And they can be found at rut-fin.com and you can also like us on Facebook at Guillotine. That's awesome. There we go. <laughs> I'm loving it. Not too bad. Hey, I'll tell you something. The only bad thing about a day like today is that, you know what, I feel like a little kid catching panfish, especially catching perch with the guillotines. This is one of the kind of days I definitely don't look want to look in the mirror because, you know what, I'm getting old. But you can forget about that when you're out here on the lake catching fish, especially like this, it's awesome. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Get off the light well. Let me see that one. All right. <laughs> Dang it. Now we got a perch, a perch judge in the boat. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. 3.30, we've already been on the road for almost an hour and a half. Who gets up this early to go bass fishing, Phil? I don't even get up this early to go salmon fishing. You don't honestly think there's a drive-through open at 3.30 in the morning? Do you? In Chicago, White Castle. Right. Is there? 
We're not that far down from Chicago. Yeah, right down there. Wait, yes. You get to Lake Geneva, we'll have to go past. Go get a bunch of sliders. Yeah. What the hell? What's the matter? Something's... There is somebody open. Find somebody? Yeah. Land? Oh. What? What is going on here? Hey! Hey! What's going on here? Burger? Burger sausage? Holy, what? Look at that truck. What's going on? Whoa, what? hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back in here. What the, what the heck's going on <laughs> What here? is this? What in the world are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I got a freaking woods in the middle of the night. He's gonna get me hey. killed backing up on a highway. What's going on here? What the heck is going on here? You know, it's 3.30 in the morning. I told these guys, is there anything open? Look at that truck. Look at, oh my gosh, it's Abby. Hey, you're the third boat that went by today, Larry. Seriously. What? Saturday it's Jack and Schaefer. No. Jack and Schaefer. It's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> Saturday no. morning. Saturday no. Saturdays are cinnamon rolls and uh, breakfast sandwiches. Sundays are bagels and donuts. What's today's day? Saturday. Yeah, oh, it's Saturday? Yeah, that's why we're having sandwiches and cinnamon rolls. Holy man, look at this. You're the third boat that goes by. Wow. Hey. Claremont, I mean, hey, Claremont can cook out his garage. I could cook like this on the side of the road. You're, you're cooking, you got a license to cook on the oh, side yeah, of the road? Oh, yeah, right there, it's the side of my truck. Shotgun chef. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Fill the blind guy. Fill the blind guy. He's hungry, too. <laughs> Are you awake? I can't tell, Phil. I can't see. Unbelievable. You're right. Oh, my God. You can't well, see. I want some I food. I can't either. Check out Sides and Lines by Stretcher, Whoa. too. <laughs> Are you Sides kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Phil. Check this out. Okay, well, let me get out of here. Let's see. Saturday morning, you sit on the side of the road in Waukesha County. Shotgun feeds the fish when they go by. They love it. Sundays, breakfast burritos and donuts. Wow. Claremont, seriously, Claremont, you can cook out of the back of your garage any day. This is real cooking. Hey, I'm the blind guy. Hello. <laughs> we put a bunch of horseradish in here sandwich. Unbelievable. Fill the blind guy, what do you want? Right out in front of you. Right out in front of you. <laughs> English muffin. Larry took the bagel already. Whatever. Surprise me. Shot. Thanks, you guys. Probably the police. The shotgun shaper saved your life. That's yeah, funny. That's, I don't, thank goodness. I don't think I could have made it. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, we're doing something that I've always wanted to do. We're fishing a lake in Wisconsin that I've never fished before, and it's Lake Geneva, and we're with Dave Mock. Hey, Dave. Hey, Larry. It was a pleasure, and his grandson, Jacob, and I'll tell you how this all came about. This spring, I was up on the Wolf River fishing with Jacob and his godfather, and they invited me to come fishing here, and Jacob kept talking about his grandfather. You know, and I'll tell you something, one of my best memories, I should say, some of my best memories my whole life have been about my grandfather. Very special time spent. I've learned a lot of stuff from him. And when Jacob was talking about you, Dave, yep. I said, you know what? You gotta be a heck of a good wow. guy. And I tell you what, I know you are. And I wanted well, to come over you. here and, and have the opportunity. And I thank you for inviting us to come over and, and fish Lake Geneva. And we also have, of course, our good friend, Hello. Phil the Blind Guy with us, you know. <laughs> so Dave, you know what? I've always wanted to fish this lake. You know why? Because it reminds me of a lake that I fish a lot, of course, and that is Big Green, deep water lakes and right. there's some, almost the same species and you've got lake trout here right. you've got cisco tons of bass walleyes big pike you know but you're a top water guy yes, I am. and you know i know nothing about top water so that's i'm very interested because you know when it comes to fishing it's all about learning so can you kind of tell us how what we're going to be doing here this well, morning what we're doing we're going to be fishing some poppers and the big thing with poppers is that when you're fishing any surface lure, you, like I said, you want to use a braided line because it lays level on the water. Okay. You don't want it sinking. You don't want that popper not working the way it, it should be or any topwater lure. And what we're looking for in targeting is grass. 
not not necessarily the thick weed lines. You want you want to target the grass because the crayfish in here are gigantic, okay. and you know, a lot of a lot of bait stays in the grass like that. We, we'll be fishing kind of in this morning and then moving out in deeper water later. But the big thing is when you're using baits, you, you can use either a bone color, but like Jacob and I both like to use when the sun comes out, is a clear bottom bait. It relate, Why is that? Yeah. It, it relate more to the minnows that are in the lake when they're feeding on them. Okay. It's a clear bottom. You still got a dark stripe on them, but on a clear deep lakes like this, yep. a clear bait. Even I've had them ones where they're, they're they're just clear plastic, and anything like that really works well. And you just got to get out here and you got to find. Once you find the fish, you, you will. You limit out every single day like we do. Holy cats! We do every day. Very interesting. You know, and again, it's something unique. Um, I'm not. I don't know right. hardly anything about top water, and uh, you know, I've seen a lot of fish exploding on the surface. So it's. I'm always oh, about yeah. learning. I love to learn. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens today out here in Lake Geneva, fishing top water for bass. Badger Sportsman Magazine is the longest running outdoor magazine in the state of Wisconsin. Badger Sportsman provides you with the best information from local Wisconsin guides and professionals so you can be successful in the outdoors. Whether you're in a boat or a tree stand, Badger Sportsman Magazine is the new go-to for information on duck hunting, deer hunting, hard and soft water fishing, and more. Enjoy our product reviews, quick tips, and all of our articles on our website today. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. That looks like a little bit bigger fish, huh? Oh Just yeah, that, that, that sun is amazing. Yeah, it's hard to see into that sun. Yeah, day to quit, uh, Better fish? I guess so. Phil, you gotta wind in fast, you got a buoy coming. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Better like fish? Another nice one. Let's see. Bugger deer, I don't know. Now you said that, oh, oh there you go. Doing that one. You said that bottom was gonna change. Now yes. it turned it more to like- hit the raft. And now it's more grass yep. than, than weeds. And there they are. Let's see that one. Not too bad. Oh, there you good. go. Did you get them? Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. I'll tell you, you what. Boy, hey, Jacob, mm -hmm. what's going on up there? I don't know. Your grandfather is putting a whooping on you. He is definitely beating you bad. I thought you would have been the other way around. That looks like a nice fish. What? What do you mean he's cheating? He has a cheat He has a... I think it's all skill, myself. There, there you go. That's a nice fish. He's at the right place at the right time. Yep. Well, I think he's getting more cast in than you are. You're eating a lot of jerky there. It tastes good. You yep. can't blame me. Well, maybe we should give Dan a piece. There you go. Beautiful, clean-looking bass. I just missed one. No markings, just gorgeous. That is nice. Well, you got it dialed in. You're popping that just right, Dave. Oh, oh nice, fish. nice fish. That thing came out of the water. That's beautiful. Oh. Woo, Jacob. Loving it. Wow. Jacob, you said in between these two rafts, no doubt that we were going to get bit, and you were right. Oh, that's a nice one. Give me the line. Oh, nice job. Oh, well, good luck getting the bait out of that guy's mouth because he wanted it. Wow. He's got the, he smashed careful. that thing. Just careful, okay? Uh, 
That Man, fish was just out in the middle the of nowhere. Morning is, you know, the sun's up. You're still catching them on top water. Yeah. You know, it's windy. You know, it's which is typically not the case, right? Not the case. But you still get them. You know, it's just a right. matter of being out and not, you know, just kind of moving around until Watch you get that. your fish. Give me your hat. And now you're gonna have to kiss your bass when, it, when you let it go. Yeah. <laughs> That was, a jump. that was a good leaper. Now you got to give him a kiss on the lips before you let him go. you got to kiss my bass. I've done it before. Give me a kiss. Kiss my bass. <laughs> go, buddy. He did. Nice job, Jacob. <laughs> Phil, you got to get a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, he's not. Look at him. He's not even popping it. Look at him. He's pouting now. Look at that pout. I don't see Dave. Me. I don't see. I don't see Dave pouting. I don't see Jacob pouting. But Phil's pouting. Pouting. I mean, the fishes don't love me no more. They used to love me. All right. I just want to catch a bass on a surface lure. That's it. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, it. Oh, wow, I can't it. believe it. My ah, first one. Live bass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got it down yeah, a little bit. Thanks, Jacob, alert. for the <laughs> advice. Yep, <laughs> excellent. Right there. I'll tell right you what. My lure, he rips it away from I know what. They're tugging the pretty good, don't they? Yeah, they tug really good. Boy, he really lit right up on that. This Where's is my cigar. Here, my let me help you, <laughs> right. Let me help you, buddy. This is my first uh, largemouth bass on a top water oh, on Lake Geneva so which is pretty cool like I said earlier I've always wanted to fish this because it reminds me so much of of Green Lake Big Green that I fish all the time look a double there a I double? got mine too huh if I got them like by the it. mouth I don't know where I got them I got them somewhere <laughs> I did it I did it thanks Jacob and Dave all right now you guys are done dancing though For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Foam by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Foam will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar. Look at that. What a, who called it? Larry called it. I said, Dave is going to get bit right there, right? Because about every fourth, fifth cast he gets is a fish. There must be quite a few right here. because I. Good job. Phil's got one. We got a double going. Nice job. Oh, oh. Dave, look at Dave's. Dave. Oh, look at Phil's. Look at whose? It's rare. I don't know. There's fish everywhere. I'll tell you what, this top water, I thought top water was just a super early morning technique too and oh, right no. now it's about 9 9 30 yeah. and Dave there's a nice one, nice one. okay Phil up yeah Phil, Phil you're yep pull him out of the weeds 
Oh, Should be able to get him out of there. Oh, keep he's keep pulling. He's coming, he's coming. Keep pulling. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. Come here, boy. Nice fish. We even got the center a right double. away. <laughs> a double. A triple. Hey, hey, hey. triple. Right, it's a triple. There you go. Dan. They fight pretty good for that size, don't they, out here? <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week is brought to you again by our good friends over at Mike's Country Meats up there in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey Dave, what is this week's tip of the week? Hey, the tip of the week is when you're fishing top water, you should always have one bait hooked up with a top a popper on it for the simple reason that when you look around the water, you always see something coming up. And stripers, bass, smallmouth, and largemouth are, are aggressive fish. And by limiting, don't limit yourself to just one bait by throwing, I mean, a Senko or whatever else you can throw. They catch fish, but always have a top water there. Learn how to use it. Uh, use braid, because it floats on the water and you get a nice even pull across, and you will always get, put fish in the boat. Just give it some practice. Hey, thanks again to our good friends up there at Mike's Country Meats up in Tigerton. Again, the finest jerky on the planet. Dave, I really appreciate you having us out here. And I'll tell you what, I never was a top water guy, but I can tell you on the way home, I'm gonna stop at Midwest Shooter Supply and I'm gonna be picking up some top water baits and I'm gonna have them in my boat at all times. You know, I'm amazed that the stuff that I fish on Big Green, that I'm not catching any fishing, is the same stuff we fish today. Oh, yeah. And I'll guarantee you them fish are there for sure. Thank you, Dave, big time. Hey, Jacob, thank you. Hey, I gotta ask you a real simple question. Maybe it might be a hard question. Who's your best friend? Your grandpa? Takes me fishing every day. That is awesome. Hey, Blind Phil, thank you, buddy. Like You're always, welcome. it's a pleasure. Phil, you got, you got some on top, man. Right. Get it. Yep. I'm addicted to top water fishing now, and I'll definitely be doing more of it. But you know what else? It's always a great day to be alive. Oh, yeah. oh. Tell him I'm gonna throw a chip in his locator and steal all his waypoints quick and put them <laughs> in my pocket. What? Larry Claremont. Hey, I'm telling you, when it comes to perch, I told you, from seven and a half to eight and three quarters, it's all the bigger I like. Another nice fish. Oh, man, he took my best bait. No, serious? Hey, Phil. Phil. What time is it? What time is it? It is 12.49 p.m. It's howdy doody time.